<laughs> morning morning and welcome back to day two of the european open beach championships with me the awful angler <laughs> good morning everybody um to be honest still haven't got a clue where we're gonna fish so the results were really mixed yesterday um essentially the southern beaches there were more fish but a lot of undersized stuff um, I have had a look on the, the webcam this morning, the sea hasn't died off as much as I think everybody's expecting it to. So, we've got the option of heading north, chasing rays. Personally, I don't like the look of Cowden and I heard a couple of people got stuck in the mud. I don't fancy doing that. Don't and, look uh, at me, I'm not that keen either. So, <laughs> so Cowden I think is out of the question now, we could head to Mappleton, it's a deep beach. I've never done particularly well there, but it's a stone throw from Cowden. Um, there's a good chance of cod, rays. And I think if we head to Mappleton, you can hold out for a bigger fish. Or we head south and play a numbers game. Well, you've set your heart on ray fishing, haven't you? Uh, I think it's going to have to be a ray to put us into... Well, I'll settle. At this late stage, I'd settle for a doggy, but that doesn't count. No, you can't but... weigh them in. <laughs> same, right, as well, same as yesterday, then. I'm going to get to the end of the drive at the caravan park and see which way I turn the van. Well, I was just going to say, it looks like we're going to do what we did yesterday. Get to the main road, toss a coin, and that's where we're going. There you go. It's as scientific as that. So, mm. we'll see you on the beach. Oh, well. Here we are, then. Mappleton. <laughs> I think it was always going to happen, to be honest. Always going to happen. Like I say, this week I was watching the webcams and uh, it was flat calm, so I'd already got my set, the sights set on catching rays for the competition. The sea's dying down. It's certainly not as choppy as it was last night. So last night, me and my dad spent quite a bit of time riding around looking at different venues. We came to Mappleton and had a look at it last night. Uh, we had a ride as far north as Hornsea and had a look there. Uh, it looked even worse there. However, having said that, we were looking at low water, so you can expect some shallow, sandy beaches. But yeah, this morning, Mappleton, this is where we've come to. We were about seventh or eighth on the beach, I think. So we're about middle of the, the first bay. People are already walking sort of past the second groin and, and heading north. So, um, yeah, it's, it's certainly a popular mark. It's a comfortable mark, it's an easy mark. Uh, there's a, a ramp up to the car park, there's toilets and stuff in there. Anyway, it's just gone 5 a.m. I can just see a little bit of red starting to appear in the sky over there. It's, uh, it's shaping up to be a good morning. It's, it's overcast. It was clear last night when we, uh, when we left the events hall. Um, you can see the stars, but yeah, it's gone overcast. The wind has gone westerly. It is nothing but a bit of a breeze. Um, and yeah, let's hope this sea dies all the way down. We can get in some rays. So, as we know, uh, it was cod throughout the leaderboard yesterday, apart from first and second spot, which were taken both by rays. Uh, I think two and a half kilos from memory was uh, was what won it. Uh, what won Saturday anyway. So. We need to be up and around the sort of five, six pound mark today, which is doable. It is doable. Uh, I think 20th place yesterday was a 980 gram cod, so that's around just under, you know, the two pound mark. So, yeah, a two pound cod and up could feature you certainly on Sunday's leaderboard, but could also put you in the running for the overall leaderboard as well. So it's all to play for. Uh, I'm going to chill out, probably do some star jumps and stuff, warm up a little bit. And I shall bring you back when uh, when there's a bit of daylight and we can see what we're doing. We'll start getting geared up. Right then, I've had a cup of coffee. It's uh, just about daylight. I'm going to come over here, warm myself up a bit, and have a few casts. So my dad's got the, uh, the Akios Airspeed Surf. So I'm going to have a, a few chucks with this while he's not watching. 
and see, uh, see what we think of it. It's a nice rod. It's certainly a lot more forgiving in the cast than the air power is. Um, it's so essentially I think you've got the fury, then you've got the airspeed, then the air power, and then you're into the creed. Um, but yeah, that's it's a lot more forgiving in the cast. With the with the air power, I do feel like you have to, it's, it's very stiff, you have to work it really hard whereas I feel like I, don't, I probably wouldn't have to put quite as much effort into the air speed to get the distance. What I might try and do is do just give a rundown of fury, air speed, air power um, and then later on in the year when we head to Scotland try and get my hands on a creed and put that through its paces. I say put that through its paces, obviously I'm no big power caster. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. So that sounds like a plan. I'm going to uh, gonna have a word with you guys at Akios and see if they uh, see if they're up for it. So I found something for all for all your fans. <coughs> GoPro. I've not got a mount for it. So we'll, we'll call this Dad Cam, shall we? And what am I supposed to do with this? Well. Record bits. No, was... Right, I'll do a quick tutorial. We'll see how this works out. The one thing I will say is I've got no spare batteries for it. So once the battery's dead, the battery's dead. So let's see how this goes, eh? Well, here we are. We're at uh, Mapleton Beach. And today is totally different than yesterday. And my tutor has been giving me some uh, casting lessons. So we'll just see whether the tutor's worked his magic. Yeah, see if we can get him some fish. Right, I'll leave you with that, enjoy that. Alright, I will try my best. I just realised that <laughs> What? Poured a coffee out about half an hour ago before I went wandering off. Right there folks, it's quarter to nine now. Um, so I've got all the gear out, I'm going to bait up in a minute and uh, we'll go from there. So quick recap of the rules then. We're fishing nine till three. Today's high water is actually at nine o'clock, near enough. So we're going to be fishing from high water down to pretty much low water. Uh, you are only allowed one rod, maximum of three hooks, uh, only allowed one rod set up at any one time as well so you can't have another rod rigged and ready to go. Uh, you are allowed other rigs red, ready to go. Set up wise for me, so the Akios Air Power RXP, uh, Penn Spin Fisher 7500 long cast. Because we're fishing over high water it's going to be a very similar um, sort of strategy for me as it was yesterday hopefully with slightly better results but uh, the first hour hour and a half or so I'm probably going to target the bigger fish uh, and like I mentioned the, I really want to go after rays uh, I think a ray is the way back into the leaderboard or onto the scoreboard at least and doing well so having said that uh, the sea has flattened right off it's really nice but there's a lot of colour out there and I think there could be some nice cod knocking about. So, for me, I am going to fish uh, for the first hour and a half at least with two pulley panel rigs. I've got a slightly shorter one that I shortened down yesterday. Uh, I'm going to use that for the cod. 
I'm going to use a six foot pulley panel rig for the rays uh, and then also I've got uh, that two hook loop rig as well which I'm going to be using worm baits so I'm going to be mixing it up quite a bit uh, fishing really hard at least for the first hour and a half I think if we're going to do well it'll be in the first one and a half to two hours uh, at the start of the ebb um, then it'll be a case of probably just using loop rigs from there on just with worm baits and just try and get something that's in size to go and weigh in but I'm not going to need to resort to that because I am going to land that big fish that first hour and a half it's on There we have it then, day two is underway. Let's see if Dad can keep his first cast in the water longer than 30 seconds this time, eh? Well, I'm 20 minutes in, just about ready to change the first set of baits. I reckon, I reckon someone's had enough already. <laughs> uh. Well, we're an hour in now and I've just put out the first worm bait on that loop rig and uh, missed a really good bite. Saw a good rattle, picked the rod up, another thump, struck into it heavy, heavy, dropped it. So the fish are here. I've seen a couple of whiting come out as well. Um, so far, I think everything that's been caught, I've seen throw back, but that was definitely a better fish. Um, I've just rigged up that short panel rig with a hermit crab which I've never done any good on hermit crab, to be honest. Uh, I know some people who swear by the stuff, but I've never really done that much on it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna give that worm bait now. I've had that good rattle on it. I'm gonna give that two or three more minutes, just see if it comes back, and then uh, we'll get it swapped out for that hermit crab. So dad decided that he was gonna chuck short. And when I say short, I mean about, 10 foot into this mixing bowl behind us and he's come up trumps and that was only about 30 yards out now it wasn't even 30 yards it was about 10 foot but about 10 foot off you any day mm. yeah you're gonna have to get hold of it well so there we have then a little five bearded rockling Come on, where's your... Oh, there you go. Four on top, one on the bottom. Nice little rock then, as soon as Dad's got his rag. Grab hold of him. Just hold him a bit close towards there. I can get the hook out, just hold him on his head, yeah. There you are, got your bait back as well. Oh, bonus. A pretty little thing, isn't he? Yeah. Well, there you go. Five bearded rocklin, aka a slug. <laughs> Got a blank slaver. Well done. Yeah. And glow now. <laughs> That's it. Come away in a minute. <laughs> Can we stretch him a bit before I put him back? Well, we're off the blank. And I reckon I've got a win in the bag here. Codlin. What do you reckon? <laughs> and the best bit is, I'll be perfectly honest with you, it's not even on my rig. So I was snagged up, but fishing 90 pound braid straight through. I'm just gonna try and get him unhooked and released. Somebody else's rig, using tiny, tiny, tiny little scratching hooks. Um, I've got another bait out there already uh, and yeah, I'm going to untangle that and get this little fella back. Alright, there he is, look, winning cuddling. I can't believe 
and put him in match winning coddling bike. Now I'm not sure how long he's been hooked up on there but got a bit of kick about him. Yeah, there he goes, gone. I'll see you little, next year little fella. Do you know I've just realised? I've put that coddling back and I haven't got a coddling for this year's species on. <sighs> I need, I'm gonna have to get another one now. Hopefully, hopefully we'll find one that's in size. So we've just come up over 12 o'clock, we're halfway through the fishing. Um, and Dad's had that rocklin, I've had that monster cod. I haven't seen anybody catch anything that's been kept so far on Mapleton. I am, however, hearing of um, Pippin Moore, who won last year's European Open. He's landed at 12, 10 to 12 pound Thornback. So, and I have had it confirmed that he's definitely got a nice Thornback. So, we're definitely fishing for second place now, I think. A 10 or 12 pound thornback off a of Holdness Coast is a good fish at any stretch. So it just goes to show that local knowledge is coming in handy again. Well, you'll know if you've watched the channel before when I have the good fortune to find somebody else's gear, especially when it saves me from a blank as well, um, I like to try and reuse it. I see that as a good omen. So I've managed to recover that little rig. Um, it was wrapped up in about 100 yards of braid, so I've cut it all free put some small little worm baits on there uh, and kept it exactly as it was and sent it out. So let's see if we can't land something on that recovered rig. Um, I think now I am going to drop down to just using that little three hook flapper rig and my regular loop rig. Um, time's getting on, it's just gone one o'clock so we've got two hours left. I've started to see people leaving the beach already I'm not sure if that's because he's got something to weigh in or he's just seen enough. Uh, I know down the far end of the beach, certainly when you get way past down the end, uh, it's starting to flatten off there, so they've got probably 50 or 80 yards of, uh, of surf again. The swell's certainly picking up, um, but like I say, we've got two hours now till low water, so... Oh, that's a good bite, that's a good bite on the little scratching rig. believe that I'm sat here talking to you guys about a, a rig that I've recovered nicked and reused and that's probably the best bite I've had of the day um, but yeah as I was saying the surface started or the, the swell starting to build a little bit now um, and I've noticed there is a bit of weed on people's lines as they're bringing it in but two hours left I've probably got 40 or 50 fresh yellowtails left so I'm just going to keep banging them out, I think. I might stick the occasional squid bait out, or peeler bait, but I think the rule of thumb now is just pure worm baits. So let's see if we can't get something, something to weigh in. Well, folks, that rig's paying off. Unfortunately, nothing that's ever going to weigh in, but two little dabs, tiny, tiny little dabs, again, would have been cracking for the, uh, the flatter bashing competition. No good for the biggest fish competition, is it? But uh, hey, it's, uh, it's two more fish, so at least uh, at least I'm not getting beat by Dad, eh? Remember to get a picture this time for Tommy Joe's species hunt. So I think that puts me up to about six or seven species, I think now. And as we all know, dabs are absolute animals when it comes to surviving so these should go straight back there goes one and there goes two hi everybody well this is Mapleton Beach and over there sitting very quietly which is unusual for him is Alex as you can see there's quite a few other anglers down on here. It's not as chaotic as it was yesterday. Um, everybody's got plenty of room to work and fish and whatever. But <clears throat> unfortunately. Mr. 
done the same thing as all day. Rattle, really good rattle and then fucked off. On. Yeah, I was watching a YouTube video the other day, it said the file and flat. Right, I reckon looking at those conditions now, I reckon I'm going to bring back out the, uh, the panel rig. And I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have one last go for a ray. Doesn't look like the cod are turning up, certainly not here anyway. Apart from micro size obviously. So yeah, let's put a ray bait out. Fifteen minutes left. We've got one more bait to go out. Let's see if we can repeat what we did last year. Hey, we, we've got that last cast fish. Can't believe it. Cannot believe it. <laughs> My dad's had another one. There's the hook in it. Yeah. A little five bearded rockley for you. Hey, sir. Oh, thank you. Play me prize. Thank you so much. I've always wanted one. And I've had two. Yeah. Not saying I never treated to know. Well, that's the first, isn't it? Um, we're ne never going to get this stretched, are we? No, I don't think you're going to get that to us. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think what you'd have had to do is kept the one earlier, slit it in half, and do a cut and shut. <laughs> Cut and shun. Yeah. Anyway, my little friend, it's been nice seeing you. We'll put you back. Well, back in the van. Red faced. Out of breath. Out of breath. <laughs> but we haven't blanked. Nothing to weigh in. I think uh, I've caught a bit of uh, I don't know, a bit of windburn maybe. Face looks pink as out. But uh mine feels hot. Yeah. Um, much better day than yesterday, weather was a lot better. Uh, it's not sunburn, I know that much, um, but... It's rust. <laughs> it could well be rust. Um, but yeah, no, we both had fish, didn't we? You had a couple of rockling, I had that tiny codling, but it's still a codling, uh, and a couple of dabs. Um, a lot of people coming off there blank, so... Be thankful for that. The annoying thing is, is that looking at the conditions now, it's low water, it will fish its absolute nuts off. I'm confident it will fish its absolute nuts off on the way back up and into the evening. Uh, and if it wasn't for the fact that I want to go and see how other people have done and say hello to a few folk, um, I'd suggest we stay and fish on. But uh, yeah, we need to go and get the caravan packed down, get a shower and change, and um, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys at the, uh, the presentation. We'll see you in the event hall later on. And maybe I can get him to get his hands in his pockets and uh, buy the old man a beer. Don't don't listen to him. I bought him <laughs> dinner last night. Oh, 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 oh yeah, right oh, whatever. I bet dinner's on me tonight though. <laughs> yeah, too right. <laughs> well, there you are. Oh, no. Yeah, if you win. 